Hello and welcome, Poke fans, to week two of PMLDC, PML Draft Center. I'm your host, Admin Joe, and along with me, of course, is Morgan. What's up, guys? All right. Uh, as you can see, uh, we got our week two power rankings. Sorry it says week one. I guess I missed that. But this is week two. As you can see, uh, some teams are 2-0, and a few teams are 1-1. One and one. Uh, How we did it was uh, most teams obviously have the same amount of wins. So secondary tiebreaker is kill leaders uh, for their team. So uh, whichever Pokemon has the most kills for a single team. And then the third tiebreaker was uh, differential of kills and deaths for the team. So that's how we did the bracketing here. And we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, the number one, Mannheimer Machamps. They went in and, let's see, they beat the Sedona Score Bunnies, if I'm seeing that right. Yeah, they beat the Sedona Score Bunnies, and Blossom was the kill leader with four kills in that game. So... They kind of broke it down on how everything happened. Uh, so the first kill went to Excadrill. Uh, it kills Ferrothorn with Earthquake. Mudzell comes in. Kills Excadrill with Heavy Slam. Weird move, but alright. Yeah. That is odd. Then uh, Mantine comes in for Mudsdale. Switches in on Zatu. No, wait. No, it's just Mantine being in. Kills Zatu with Scald. Then after that, Gallade comes in, kills Mantine with Max Mindstorm. Uh, I guess he stalls him out of Gigantamax from there because Belasa comes in and kills Beware, Inteleon, Mudsdale, and Gallade all with Giga Drain. So uh, Belasa ended up with a late game sweep there. Which is surprising, because it's the second week in a row. <laughs> so he's <laughs> doing something right. Does it say the set on there? The Blossom set? It just says Giga Drain. That's the only move it used to kill. I don't know how I know that it has Strength Set. And Quiver Dance. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we can move All on right. to well. week two. I mean, game two. Alright, game two is... Well, I can't even see what that logo says. Columbia Kling Clang. It's a Whose Col team is that? Columbia, uh, it's the Columbus Clang Gang, uh, recently known as uh, Baytown Boomers. Oh, uh, De er, David Alani's changed his team? Yeah. Uh, I feel like it was a better logo, and the logo he was using before wasn't a PML original made anyway, so... Where is uh his game on here though? I don't see it. It is. David didn't post it. Oh, it's uh Jesse Dudek. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's really so the week two. I don't know why he put J Dog Bruisers. Did he change it again? Are they changing their stuff up or something? No, only uh. Only David got permission to change it. Okay, so week two is the Atlanta Arcanines. Yeah. All right, versus the Columbia Clean Lang or whatever he's changed it to. <laughs> so he Jesse brought Arcanine with zero kills, one death. Gigalith with zero kills, one death. Poltegeist with zero kills, one death. Northern with one kill, one death, and Northern Dynamaxed. Galizapod with zero kills, one death, and Diggersby with zero kills and one death. And David brought Rodom Frost. Or yeah. No, yeah, Rodom Frost, zero kills, one death. Milotic, zero kills, zero deaths. Aegislash, one kill, zero deaths. Braviary, zero kills, zero deaths. Vikavolt, zero kills, zero deaths. And Como O with five kills and zero deaths. And Como Dynamax. So Como swept, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
too bad we can't get in depth detail on how that game played out, but I mean, I can feel like I already know how it happened. <laughs> That's stupid. What is that move that they replaced the Z move with? Some, what is it called? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, it has that right. So it pretty much has the Z move. It's just a setup move. Uh, the Klinger Soul Blaze thing. Yeah, so it has it in a move now. Oh, that's. But does no damage. That's crazy. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Broken ass move. Well, we move on to our third ranked team, the Berlin Bisharp. Uh, they had the Detroit Guardies as an opponent, and they won with a 3 0. So the Berlin Bisharps brought in Ditto with two kills, one death to recoil. Uh, Colossal, zero kills, one death. Passimian, two kills, no death. Uh, Cloyster, n no kills, no death. Manectric, zero kills, one death. Whimsicott, two kills, no death. And then uh, the Detroit Guardies, J brought Togekiss with one kill, one death. Rune Regis, one kill, one death. Surfetch, zero kills, one death. Dreadnought, zero kills, one death. Weavile, zero kills, one death. And Flapple with zero kills and one death. So, grass types seem to be putting in a lot of work this season. Yeah. And, of course, Ditto is wrecking house, as always. So, wait, 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 wait a second. What the fuck happened? <laughs> he did what now? So, oh, okay. This isn't the game where Ditto swept the whole team, right? Mm-mm. Okay. He, he died right. to recoil. I'm, I'm assuming somewhere in... Either the beginning or the middle of the draft. I mean, the battle. But uh, it looks okay. like Whimsicott got two kills in this game. Alright. So, now I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah, grass types are putting in work this season. Wow, Whimsicott with two kills. What, you, what week did he sweep him with that ditto? Uh... Well, obviously the only other week would be week one. Uh, I think he got three kills with it. Oh, I thought it was five. I thought you said something about he got five kills with it. I couldn't remember. Oh, no, he didn't get that many. All right. So the next game is the Townsville Crooked Isles versus Dusty and the Night Night Knights. That's it's, what it says on here. It's the Day Day Knights, but I think he was trying to make a joke. Alright, so, day-day nights. Oh, damn, that's cold. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. That's cold. So, Jaden is the returning champion from last year. Yep. Uh, Jaden brought Conkelder with four kills, one death, and it was, oh, it died to burn. So, Vaporeon, zero kills, zero deaths. Jolteon, zero kills, zero, zero deaths. Roserade, one kill, zero death. Cottony, zero kills, zero deaths. And Bear Tick, one kill, zero death. He brought Cottony? I wonder what for. Why would he even have that? Probably set up Tailwind and get out with U-Turn. That's my only guess. Hmm. All right, and the Night Night Nights. The Day Nights. Damn, that's cold. I can't even <laughs> believe that. God. So, so Charizard was zero kills, one death. Type Null was zero kills, one death. Durant was zero kills, one death. Persian, zero kills, one death. Hydragon, zero kills, one death, and Drampa, zero kills, one death. Damn, he, he whooped his ass. That's f <laughs> I didn't realize that the only kill that he got was during the, it was burn recoil or burn damage. Yeah. So I'm sorry, Dusty. And he just fucking, that's so cold. I'm going to respond. Can I respond to that and tell him that that's <laughs> cold as shit? I mean, you no, can. no bullying in this fucking league, Jaden. Bully and Dusty. <laughs> I don't even know. I guess that's what happened. Conkelder just swept. Yeah, pretty much. And I guess the other, the remaining two Pokemon that got kills had to clean up. Ah, uh, that's sad. I'm sorry. Condolences. <laughs> All right. Well, number five, we go on to my team, uh, the New England Chartreuse with the two O. A little bit of a, what do you call it? I can't think of the word. 
But there was a little issue at the end of the game. But me and Matt worked it out, and we agreed that uh, Salazzle was going to kill Serena at the end. So we went ahead and gave my my team the win. Uh, so <clears throat> this is what uh, Matt brought. Uh, the Blades have nine tails, Dynamax, two kills, one death. Hitmonlee, one kill, one death. Umbreon, zero kills, one death. Dublade, one kill, one death. Galarian Darmanitan, one kill, one death. And Serena, technically, zero kills, one death. And then we move on to the Chartriots. I brought Salazzle. Um, I technically had three kills due to that final play issue. Three kills, no deaths. Hitmonchan, zero kills, one death. Jellison, zero kills, one death. Steelix. Silva, uh, Steelix, Sylveon, and Dragapult all had one kill, one death. And uh, if you want to see how the battle played out, it's actually uh, on the YouTube channel. There's a link if you click on the Topics tab of PML Draft. And you can see it there. Nice. I didn't watch it yet. I need to watch it when I get done. You all can also watch my match. It's up on the Facebook group. Alright, so next game is... That's Hang Riley. On. Riley's game. Riley's game's not on here unless some... Did Josh post it? Is that who was it? Posted it all the way at the top. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, you posted it. Yeah. Oh, okay, so week two is Riley versus uh, Isaiah Chavez, so the Melbourne Manetrics versus the Charlotte B Drills. Melbourne Manetrics brought Tyranitar, the Dynamax, with two kills and one death. Galarian Weezing with zero kills, one death. Indeedy, zero kills, one death. Driftblum, zero kills, one death. Rodon Mo four kills, zero death. And Gastrodon with zero kills, one death. And Charlotte B. Drills brought a Gyarados, zero kills, one death. Galvantula, who Dynamaxed, with two kills and one death. Cofagragus, with one kill, one death. Machamp, zero kills, one death. Malamar, two kills, one death. Mamoswine, zero kills, one death. So uh, Rodom, another grass type, pulling out a big four kills for the Melbourne Manetrix, which surprises me because you don't ever see it. I mean... I don't know. I, I think all Rodon forms are a pain in my ass. I never really use them, but they always give me trouble. But I've never seen Rodon Mo like just wreck before. I don't know. Yeah, from the battles I from the battle I saw that he posted on his YouTube channel, uh, it was a scarf Rodom, and he was really using yeah. the electric attacks more than anything. Really interesting <clears throat> scarf Rodom. Hmm. And uh, if you want, you can take your game, and then I'll take number eight. All right, cool. So my game was against Michael Bloom and his draw clones. Uh, Iowa State draw clones, is that what it is? Yeah. So um, it was a 4-0 victory. I whooped his ass. Um, thank, thanks for that, Michael. Uh, he got he brought Pseudowoodo with uh, Dynamax with one kill, one death. Appleton with zero kills, one death. Kling Clang with zero kills, one death. Dubwall with one kill, one death. Scrafty, zero kills, one death. Rodom Wash, zero kills, one death. I brought Ludicolo, uh, zero kills, zero deaths. Hitmon Top with zero kills, zero deaths. Grim Snarl, zero kills, zero deaths. Hapowdon, which I Dynamaxed with one kill, one death. Sigilyph with four kills, zero deaths. Barbacle with one kill, one death. Um, he brought. I basically set up, ended up setting up with Sigilyph, um, and just swept him his last four mons. Uh, he played all right. He brought a lot of. I feel like he based his team. Dusty said that he based his team off of what Benji was giving out. And I feel like that's what it was. So maybe he it wasn't like super balanced. But uh, he played all right. I did flinch him three times in a row with that Sigilith, though, which is really, if any of you have ever lost to Michael 
um, in the last generation because of his Jirachi and his flinch game, then you should watch my match because it's very satisfying. So, thanks. I like to give Michael shit because he talks so much shit himself. So, <laughs> thanks, Michael. All right. And uh, moving on to number eight. This is actually incorrect. Uh, <clears throat> the Sedona score bunny is actually 0-2. So the real eighth place is uh, Jesse Dudek with the Atlanta Arcaniners. He had the week one forfeit and also uh, lost this week. So technically he still remains as the only team with a uh, one and one differential other than the Tyranitars. So as of right now, uh, Jesse Dudek is eighth place, not the score bunnies. That's my bad. I did it wrong in Excel, so. No, I'm sorry. So, and since also we went over that game, <clears throat> there's not much else to say, but, you know, it was a decent match. It, I believe, oh no, never mind. It was not a decent match. He got 5 would <clears throat> But, you know, still 8th place in the top 8. All right. All right, and that's yeah. it from us. Yeah, I... Nothing else to say from there. So. All right, nice. So the other eight teams have they're they're all zero and or zero and two then. Uh yeah, as of right now. Man, I got pressure to beat Hoff. What what uh team is he? What's his team name again? Uh, Mannheimer Machamps. He's number one. Oh, he's number one in the league right now. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Two, two big victories on his part. So. I got to take out that blossom. All right, well, let's hope I don't lose. <laughs> all right, guys, and that's all brought to you by PMLDC, PML Draft Center. <laughs>